So if you've never seen Google Flow before, it is absolutely wild what you can do with it. Here's an example, right? So you can basically create like movie scenes generated with text into a interactive sort of movie style seen as you can see right here so i mean it'd be very difficult for anyone to detect this was generated with ai and that's the sort of level we've got to with google flow which is a brand new update that's just come out from them this week so here for example you can see like some sort of action movie scene actually when you generate a prompt so for example we put a rogue spy with nothing to lose races against time to stop a nuclear attack explosions light up city escapes helicopters chasing through stormy skies and you can see that is how we generated this particular example okay? and if you pull this up we can go full screen on it and we can also add more to the scene so if we hover over here you can see this add scene button and then we can generate multiple scenes for the same movie using this process we can also skip through this and not only that but we can also click on the plus over here let's x off that plus extend and that'll make the scene longer right which means that we can generate a longer version of the movie that we're creating here so here's some more examples this was a fantasy style one that I'd said uh, a blood red eclipse hangs above a shattered kingdom as thousands of dragons made of gold bone and shadow spiral through the sky right and it basically generates two different versions of that prompt like you can see kind of movie style two different camera angles really cool stuff so if we go back now to this video you can see it's extending if we go back to our original scene you can see some more examples here now if you want to get access to Google Flow then you need the Gemini Ultra subscription so you can't get it on like the normal subscriptions only available for Gemini Ultra which is like I think it's $249 per month if you want to access this but if you want free access to similar sort of AI video generators then feel free to check out the AI success lab that shows you all of the best free AI video alternatives so if you want to get free video alternatives to this stuff just check out the AI success lab and that'll run you through it let's play some more examples now so I actually generated the second part of the scene which was the spy leaps onto a moving train sparks fly as bullets ricochet off metal he slides under a carriage clutching a ticking briefcase above a master assassin stalks him with silence silence blah blah right okay. so if we play this now let's open this up crazy stuff right like there's no audio on this by the way like you can see there's no audio generated down there but basically what we've done here is generate a full movie scene with different camera angles based on our prompt and you see the transitions as well like the way it's almost edited inside the scene not only that but also you don't need actors anymore right like if you were in Hollywood or whatever do you need actors anymore like that's probably one of the biggest expenses along with the effects for generating this stuff whereas now you know if you're a great storyteller and you're a creative person all you need is a good AI like you see with Google Flow let's play this example as well so this was the second part of the scene pretty cool stuff and then we generated the third part of the scene let's play this now so I don't know why he started falling from the sky <laughs> that was wild but he landed perfectly And now you can see he's like doing all sorts of karate moves. Let's play this one back as well. So this was another version of the same scene. He's flying through the air. Kind of reminds me of like a Harry Potter movie or something or like a James Bond scene. And then you can see that in a little fight right there. Yeah. And basically every time we put in a prompt, which you can do just down here, the AI will generate two different versions of the same scene. You can download them, you can add to the scene, you can add more transitions. You can also, if we X off here, you can choose between text to video, frames to video, or ingredients to video, right? So you can generate different options right there. Then I asked it to generate some more stuff, but this kind of came out more cartoonish, which I didn't like. So if we open this up, let's play this back. It's quite cool, but it's obviously kind of got that CGI feel right it doesn't feel realistic at all let's play this one back as well 
Yeah, so you can see it's more like cartoonish style, which wasn't the style I put in, but it just sort of generated it that way without asking me. And this one as well, like if we look at this, you know, it does look a bit reversed. It's almost like, I don't know if you've ever seen the film Tenet. That's what it reminds me of. It's like everything's kind of played around in terms of like the, the style of the scene, etc. But it's a really unique style. It's pretty cool. This was more like a video game style one, so it kind of reminded me of like Skyrim back in the day, if you ever used to play that. Sort of RPG style or Final Fantasy. But it looks pretty cool. Like, I mean, that's the other use case for this, is it could actually generate scenes for games as well, for video games and stuff like that. And then this was another one, but not that interesting again. That kind of just looks like a, you know, something off the Xbox. Not that good. Let's open up the next scene now. So these were some more generations. So for this one, I was trying to generate a advert, but the problem is with these advert style videos, if we open this up, is like there's no audio. And then also you can see here the subtitles are just totally wrong, right? Kind of reminds me when ChatGPT started generating images, but all the text was wrong. So for example, it says, what if I told you, you build an app in 10 seconds, no code, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. The actual video is cool, but you can see as well on the cup, if you pay attention to detail here, you can see that actually this writing doesn't make any sense. Let's open up this one. So this was another version of the same scene. I heart three backlinks. I mean, who doesn't love backlinks? Let's be honest. Who doesn't love SEO backlinks? And he's having a great time. I mean... If there was a film about SEO, that's probably the perfect scene. Let's have a look at this one as well. So here I put, a villain walks calmly away from an explosion, reflected in mirrored glasses. Now, bear in mind as well, you can download all these scenes and then you could stitch them together, right? So you could easily turn this into a film. Obviously, you would need the audio for it too. Let's play this back. I mean, that's straight out of a movie, right? Carlos says, I signed up to Google AI Ultra because of your breakdowns. This stuff is absolutely insane. I'm glad someone agrees with me. That is good. Thank you, mate. And I um, hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, I should be on commission for Google AI Ultra. Like, it is an awesome tool. Doesn't he kind of look... Just play that back. Like, if we go back here. Let's play that. See, the kind of like John Travolta style. And the image itself, I can't see any giveaways that tell me this is AI, right? Like the wrinkles on the forehead, the hairline, the quality of the graphic, even like kind of looks like he's got makeup on his face a little bit. And then if you look at the sunglasses too, you can see the reflections inside the sunglasses. Crazy stuff crazy stuff. This one was two samurais battle in an elevator as the cable snaps and the lift plummets. So two samurais right there. Like it's pretty realistic. It could be something from a Disney movie or whatever. Let's play this one back. This one doesn't make much sense to me to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't that impressed with that one. Let's have a look at this. So this was a car flips midair over a barricade, bullets piercing the chassis. And there we go. Just whilst we're watching that, someone says, Hi, what is the best agent or coder to develop an e-commerce lander to work in WordPress? I think if you've, it sounds like you've never used this stuff before, so I would re just recommend something simple like Bolt. Probably do the job or Lovable. They'll be the simplest. In fact, Lovable seems to avoid a lot of bugs. So if you want something simple and quick that you can generate pages with, Lovable is pretty good. GenSpark as well. Let's have a look at this one too. That's weird. I mean, like, if you go back, wait, 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 wait. Right, so if we just play that back there. It 
See how there's like two parts of the car? So it's kind of like the roof is underneath the car, you know? So there's some bits that don't quite make sense. Or, for example, the door here is backwards and the car door is opening. But as a rough framework, considering this is the first time Google Flow has been released, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And then we said a motorbike crashes through a glass wall into a high-rise office after mid-meeting. Not much really happening there. Let's play this one back. So these guys having a meeting. This guy, is, he doesn't even know how to ride a bike, right? Like, let's just play that back a sec. What? <laughs> what is he doing? And how did he get that motorbike up there? But you get the point. Like, it's pretty cool. And then you can add to scene. And it's, it's easy to mess around with this stuff, right? You could play with it all day. You could play with it all day. I think you get like 80 generations per month. And then you can also watch Flow TV. But I think that's based on the older generations from Veo 2. So if you go to Flow TV, you can watch back. But yeah. And, you know, this stuff, it, it does need to be tweaked, right? Like, it's not perfect. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of opportunities with this but at the same time it's not perfect by any means so i think you've got to imagine like six months 12 months down the line once this stuff really becomes scalable but yeah i mean create with flow is really cool the flow tv is really interesting because you get to see like just very surreal stuff that you would never see anywhere else right it's and also if you look at the way the images are generated like you see how everything's like bright and colorful and animated in a strange way it's like how are creators or normal film directors going to be able to compete with this stuff, right? And the same for, you know, even on YouTube. It's like, how can someone like me compete with the quality of something like this, right? Like, AI is, is going to take over. In the same way that it's taken over Google and now pretty much all blogs are generated with AI, I can see exactly the same thing happening with video, with films, until we get to a point where a lot of our culture might come from AI art, you know, and really like the real artists are the ones who are great at prompting or generating these tools. So it's a scary but weird future. I mean, this one is really cool, like a gorilla playing American football. I feel sorry for the geezer underneath. <laughs> Let's, that was cool. That was cool. Let's see what the prompt is here. So you can actually click on this and then you can see the prompt. And it says a surreal hyper realistic shot from an FPV action camera POV, um, where gorillas clash with humans on the same field. Really cool stuff. You can actually click on all channels and then you can see all these different animations and styles right here as well. But yeah, the main thing is like, you gotta, you gotta be learning how to use this stuff and how to use it for your own business or for your own creations because if you don't, you're gonna get, you're gonna fall behind, right? Like 99% of the world doesn't know what's coming for them at this point, right? Like most people not used AI, most people have no idea what Google Flow is, but this stuff is wild, crazy, and it's only going to get more impressive over time. So feel free to get all of my notes on Google Flow inside the AI Success Lab. And if you wanna get access to my free AI video generator alternatives, whilst you're waiting or thinking about getting Google Ultra, then you can get that inside the AI Success Lab. I created it for people who are gonna complain in the comments that they either can't get access to Ultra or that they can't afford Ultra. I created that module for you. So you don't need to comment about it in the YouTube video. And then also in all of these modules, we've got like free stuff on how to set up browser agents, all my latest breakdowns on the new Google IO updates that just came out this week. It's a one hour tutorial on that. Loads of stuff here. So if you want to get free access to all this, feel free to get it inside the AI Success Lab. And if you want coaching, help, support, if you want to be able to DM me and our community on exactly how to use this stuff, then feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. This is focused on making money and saving you time with AI, right? So it comes with all of my best trainings, AI agents, workflows on this stuff, an awesome community of 594 people, 
that you can learn from and you can post inside the community and get help and advice whenever you need it. On top of that, it also comes with weekly coaching calls so you can ask us any questions live on the calls anytime you need help and we're extending that soon to three coaching sessions per week so make sure you sign up now before we raise the price and you can lock in your discount price forever. Feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching.